Hello Pisces and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I'm so happy you're here with me today. Today's reading is going to be your two week reading for the end of April. So from the 15th to the 30th, lots of things are coming into play as we move through these last two weeks, but we'll get more into that as we move along. Please remember this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Please also check out your rising moon and Venus signs. We're going to start with your energies. I'm then going to clarify it with the tarot cards. I'm going to get your spirit animal oracle. We're going to tie, up the, uh, tie the reading together with your angel messages. And then we're going to get your angel number and affirmation. So let's begin by cleansing the space. All right, so let's get right into this. We're going to start with your energies and then we'll go from there. So spirit angels and guides for the beautiful sign Aries. Spirit angels and guides. What are the energies surrounding the beautiful sign Pisces? I might have said Aries and I apologize for that. This is for Pisces. Pisces, what is the energy surrounding Pisces? Beautiful, thank you. Anything else? There we go. All right, so you got two very powerful cards here. And at the bottom of the deck, you got number 46, the thinking man. Again, we don't go by any gender here. So the thinking man, number 46, when we bring that down in numerology, 46 equals 10, so the ending of something. And of course, we bring that further down to a one, and that is the beginning of something new. So you could really be thinking, a lot of people have been in the mode of thinking because we are still in a Mercury retrograde. And of course, it's been that way since April 1st and it will end on the 25th when Mercury goes direct in Aries. And that could be why I said Aries at the beginning and I apologize for that. The thinking man, it's time to process things. It's time to get information. It's time to gain clarity on situations before moving forward. We're able to end cycles when things go more direct and then we open up the doors for new beginnings. Woman holding heart could very well be your energy as well because you are really emotionally attached and linked to everything that's happening in your life. Your emotions are very strong at this time and all of it has to do with your abundance. You're feeling a sense of, of major transformations coming into play and you're feeling a sense of abundance and it's really warming your heart and you're doing it with love. You're feeling really passionate about this new abundance that's coming into play for you. You've been putting a lot of thought into things You've really been fine tuning things and again, putting a lot of clarity into things as well. So you got number 50, Angel of Strength. Again, very Leo based card, if that means anything to any of you Pisces. Uh, the Angel of Strength really is again, feeling that sense of being protected, feeling a sense of determination. Really, um, your inner willpower is strong and you know, you don't let anything stand in your way because you have a lot of strength at this time. And again, you got angel of love again, the, the, the woman holding a heart, the angel of love, number 49, everything that you do right now is linked to your emotions. So you're very much on an emotional journey here, really trying to get to the clarity that you need. And this could be why you're feeling this cornucopia. This is why you're feeling this overabundance right now is because everything is linked to your heart chakra. Your heart is open and you are there um, to not only support your own feelings, but you're there to really bring in this love throughout your, your family, your friends, your community, your work. Let's, uh, let's get into your tarot codes, cards and find out a little bit more as to what's happening here. Okay, so we're going to start with the Angel of Strength. Let's find out Spirit Angels and Guides for the beautiful sign Pisces. Angel of Strength. What can you share with us about the Angel of Strength? Anything you'd like to share? Thank you. You've got a lot of abundance here, Pisces. Unbelievable. Wow. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So we've got four cards here. We'll spread these out. The Ace of Cups is the first one that came out. And again, that is like your cornucopia. That is your abundance. That's really feeling, um, really feeling confident about all of these wonderful opportunities that are coming into play for you. You're feeling very much love. You're feeling very revitalized with your health. Um, you are feeling again, like things are really starting to come full circle and you're really starting to feel that abundance on an emotional level. It's not something that's been easy for you because, you know, you have been feeling a sense of conflict. The five of wands is kind of 
friendly conflict. It's nothing to be serious. There's no swords here. There's no, you know, this is, this is really feeling very passionate about something and really having a strong sense of drive. And it's really working towards your, um, your abundance. Again, this can have a lot to do. I mean, this is fiery energy. So, you know, it's wanting to take that action to resolve something that may be conflicting for you. And um, you really do have that strength to get through this. The King of Wands, also fiery energy, much, very much a leader, very charismatic, very much uh, determined. Again, comes along with that angel of strength, really feeling that sense of inner power and strength at this time. You have a sense of energy about you to really want to move forward um, and to really create your abundance. And you will be receiving messages. This Eight of Wands, again, a lot of Wands energy. Again, forward movement. Now, you will feel more forward movement, movement after the 25th when Mercury goes direct in Aries. It is, um, you know, you are not going to be in that retrograde period anymore. You're going to feel like you have more control. Definitely more control and more energy to really, um, you know, get excited and jump into action. Also, too, after the 25th, because you are going to have better control over your energy um, and your drive, um, you're going to find that you're going to be able to avoid any arguments or any conflict better as well. So really wait until after the 25th to really set your plans in motion. But you do have lots of messages coming in. This Eight of Wands is a multitude of positive movement forward. It is a movement card, meaning that you will be making um, decisions quickly and there is going to be a lot kind of flying in at one time. So let's get some clarifiers for this. We've got that Ace of Cups, Five of Wands, King of Wands, and the, the Eight of Wands. So lots of wands here. Lots of action being taken, Pisces. All right, something else. I can see why there was a conflict here. Anything else? All right, thank you. There was some information that's been hidden from you, whether that is a situation or a person. The Seven of Swords is somebody who has, is really withholding information. They are keeping something secretive. It's kind of a bit of a deception in, in a sense, and this is what you are conflicting with. You know, you, uh, you want to bring this all to the forefront. You want to take action with this, and you want to get to the root of the matter there. And, uh, and you also got number 12, the hanging man, meaning there's been delays or there is delays right now. And again, the delay is because you really need to wait until after the 25th of the month, because that's when all the truth is going to come to a head. Everything is going to come to, um, to the forefront and you are really going to be able to move with confidence and with strength. You have to wait for these messages to come in because those messages are what are going to help you to discover what this secrecy or what has been being withheld from you. And it is causing a bit of a conflict right now, but you are going to do everything in the right timing. Take this delay and really gather all the information. This is why you've got the thinking man here. You are trying to gather your clarity about a situation so that you can get to the root of the matter. When you get to the root of the matter, you will see things from a different perspective. The hanging man does that. They see things from a different lens. You're going to allow yourself to do that. This hanging man is ruled by Neptune and Pisces, you are ruled by Neptune as well. So this is very much your energy at this time. It's important for you to start to see a situation from a different perspective. It's going to really help to control, um, control your emotions at this time as well. So let's find out with the angel of love. What's going on with this angel of love? There's choices. All right, so you're going to have some choices. All right, let's take these. Wow, yeah. okay, you got the six, which is the lover's card. This is a Gemini card. And uh, it is all about choice. So, I mean, I know we're looking at the angel of love as your energy. And then we see this lover's card. So, we, you know, it can have to do with love. There's no doubt. This all can have to do with love if you are in a relationship and you are feeling as if there is abundance, but there is something that you're struggling over because something is being kept from you. You're trying to see it all from a different perspective and you're feeling these sense of delays. You want to move forward, but you know that you have to wait for the right timing. There are messages that are coming in and those messages are what are going to require you to help you make a choice. There is definitely some sort of choice that needs to be made. Three of coins. Now, three of coins can be more work related, but it doesn't have to be. It's collaborating with something. 
It's people collaborating together to bring about a project or bring about success with something, some sort of adventure that you may be on. Um, but you know, you could be the lead in this venture. You are the one who pays the pays attention to the details and there's choices that you're going to have to make when it comes to this collaboration. Um, and again, you got the four of coins and this is really holding on to your stability and your security. So you've got the three of coins and the four of coins. So working in collaboration with somebody to really help you to build that sense of stability. There's some sort of choice that needs to be made and it, and you know, it, it is all based around your emotions because that angel of love has to do with the emotional side of things. Again, you're looking for clarity, right? And, but you're looking at cl for clarity so that you can help with those emotions as well and it is all linked to that cornucopia it's all a linked this is all a linked to your abundance so again there is messages that really need to come out for you which is that eight of wands and once you are able to really get all of that information you will be able to process that information and that's when you're going to be able to make a choice and it's a choice that you're going to have to make that isn't just dealing with, I don't think it's just dealing with one person. I think it's dealing with a, a couple of different people. It's something that, again, you've been collaborating with. And it's something to do with really keeping that sense of security, that sense of stability. The Four of Coins, you know, is very much an earthbound sign. Um, and you know, I mean, really, it's it, it really does come through more as a Capricorn sign, if that means anything to any of you Pisces. Um, but we do have the sun entering Taurus on the 19th. So with us getting more into an earthly bound, grounded energy, it really is going to be a month about grounding yourself. And that's what that four of coins is all about. And it could be that you need some help. It could be that you're, you're choosing to, to find somebody to collaborate with that's going to give you a little bit of help. Maybe they're helping you with a project or they're helping you to, with a decision to help bring a more sense of stability to your life as well. Let's get some clarifiers for that. So let's start with, uh, let's find out with the lovers, the three of coins and the four of a coins. Let's find out what the clarifying cards are for this situation. Oh my goodness. Okay, you got a flipper too. You've got a lot of cards. All right. Okay. Wow, you got cards that represent you uh, that are very representative of this Taurus season. So number five, first of all, let's start with the first one. Number five, the Hierophant. This is definitely Taurus energy. This is really all about commitment. It's your morals, it's your values, it's you know having faith, whether it's in your spirituality or in your in your religion. Um, it's really a commitment here. So there's some choice that needs to be made. It's something that you've committed yourself to. Something where you're looking for some wise advice. And Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius energy. This is all about wanting to take action. It's about a new adventure. It's about moving down a new path. For some of you, it could be about travel. Um, but you know what? It's really about maybe moving in a new direction that, you know, you're ready to take action with something. You want to make this decision. You want to make this choice because you want to create that stability because the stability is what's bringing you your cornucopia. But you want to move quickly here. But you're feeling very burdened and the burdens I think are coming from, of course, the secrets that are being capped, something that hasn't come out, out um, in the forefront. This 10 of wands, again, feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, but that 10 is a wonderful number because it means it's coming to a completion. You're eventually going to be able to figure out how to release all of these burdens and you want to take the action to release these burdens as well. Both of these are Sagittarius cards, so very much Sagittarian energy. There is the three, uh, three, the Empress. This is ruled by Venus. Now on the 29th, we have Venus entering Taurus, meaning that you're basically improving your stability and your security in your relationships and in your life. There's a lot of loyalty here and a lot of commitment. And again, that's kind of reiterating what we were talking about here with that Hierophant energy. 
the empress is the birth of something new so there's new ideas new creative um, new creative energy coming into play here. This is really planting the seeds and watching something grow. This is really being one with nature. She is the most abundant queen in all of the tarot deck. And really, it is really showing that sense of beauty and really indulging yourself at times into some, some, some beautiful things. Now, with that angel of love and the empress, it's very nurturing, loving, motherly energy to some extent. For some of you, that might make sense, but it definitely is a fertile time to start something new. It is a new beginning and you are going to get your clarity. The queen of swords is um, very much air energy. So Libra, um, Gemini or Aquarius energy if that means anything to any of you now for you Pisces you could be on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces so that might make sense um, again no gender with any of these the Queen of Swords the Queen of Swords doesn't really make decisions with her emotions and what this is saying is that you know she's very intuitive she's very intelligent and she's a no-nonsense queen she's not going to put up with any she's really not going to put up with any nonsense at all. Um, so she's going to look at situations as they need to, 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 as they squarely need to be. She's going to look them right in the face and she is going to deal with it. And it's really going to help you to be decisive when it comes to um, this lover's card having to make some sort of choice. There's a choice that will have to be made, but you're going to get to the truth of the matter because she cuts through the truth. She gets to the truth. There's breakthrough moments here, and this is all going to help you to evolve and to bring in some new beginnings to end out old cycles. And again, ending old cycles around the full moon, which is on the 23rd of the month, and it will be in the sign Scorpio, is going to be a time for you to take your control back. This is going to be the time where you are, you know, know that you need to address things that are, that might be serious that need to come to a close and that could be closing out cycles with situations or people that have been keeping secrets from you you will no longer feel delays and uh, and you know after that full moon and then of course mercury going direct on the 25th you're really going to start to feel like things are starting to move full force and into action you're going to see the movement of that eight of wands really starting to take place so let's get your spirit animal card let's find out what that is let's find out the animal that is watching over you it's the dolphin it's time for play swim in the happy joy of living inhale confidence and exhale fear drive into your wisdom go with the flow beautiful you are very wise you're also very intuitive so your intuition is never going to let you down make sure you're always trusting in your intuition so let's find out as we um as we begin to close out the reading let's find out your angel messages that tie this entire reading together for Pisces, please. Thank you. If I can get one more. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. So you got five of Ariel. You needn't go through your current challenges alone. And you do have a support system. We have that here. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. So keep positive. Don't allow any negative energy to get inside your head. Eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So, you know, you're really educating yourself at this time. So even if it's not... Um, you know, maybe even if it's, it could be that you're just gaining more knowledge as well, like that thinking man here in the beginning. And then the King of Michael, you got as well. So principled, rational, ambitious, and respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. And that's going to come into being when you're able to release that Seven of Swords energy. And again, it'll be more around that full moon when um, when old cycles are closed out and new beginnings come into play um, some of you could actually be embarking on a new journey with that three uh the empress this is really birthing something new some of you could be looking at um, educating or getting a certificate or starting some sort of new project that really requires you to give a little bit more thought to things and you know you're really um, gaining more um, knowledge so beautiful energy so to end your reading, let's get your angel number and the, and the message linked to it. So spirit, angels, and guides, what is the number and the message? Beautiful. I am courageous. Number 99. Beautiful number. It is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. 
I am courageous. So your uh, angel number is 99, very auspicious. If you see any synchronicities of 99, it's your angels trying to get your attention to let you know that they are there with you. You're never alone. That's all I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you do find that parts of it resonate with you, please leave comments. I love to read them. Please also consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and I really do appreciate the support. Until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.